Lesson 11.2e, Solving Equations that Represent Geometric Concepts. So now we've learned the subtraction property of equality tells us we can subtract the same number from both sides of an equation, and the two sides will remain equal. If we have 15 plus x equals 20, we could subtract 15 from both sides of the equal sign, create a zero pair, eliminate this 15, Take 15 away from the 20, we have a 5, we know x is equal to 5. Then we learned the addition property of equality states we can add the same number to both sides of an equation and the two sides will remain equal. Here we have x minus 10 equals 25. We can add 10 to both sides of the equation because that's subtraction. We do the opposite. We add. That is going to create a zero pair and eliminate this minus 10. We add 10 to this side, get 35, we see x is equal to 35. In fifth grade math, chapter 11, we learned about angle measures. We learned that a right angle is 90 degrees. A straight angle is 180 degrees. It's a straight line. A straight line has an angle measure of 180 degrees. Two angles who have the sum of 180 degrees are called supplementary angles. We have our straight line, our straight angle, which we know is 180 degrees. This angle is 70 degrees. This angle is 110 degrees. Together, they equal the 180 degrees for this line. And two angles who have the sum of 90 degrees are called complementary angles. We have a right angle here, and if this one is 60 degrees, then this one must be 30 degrees because together they must equal 90 degrees. Each angle here is a supplement to the other angle, and each angle here is a complement to the other angle. Remembering a straight line is equal to 180 degrees and a right angle is equal to 90 degrees can help us find missing angle measures. This is telling us to find the measure of the unknown angle. We see we have a straight line. We know that's 180 degrees. It's giving us that this angle is 145 degrees. We need to find the measure of this angle, x. We see the straight angle, which is 180 degrees, part of the angle, which is 145 degrees, and an unknown angle, x. Because this is an addition equation, we can use the subtraction property of equality to isolate x to one side of the equal sign to find the unknown angle measure. We have 145 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees. We see the plus, so we subtract. We do the opposite. We take away 145 degrees from both sides of the equal sign. That's going to create a zero pair here and eliminate this 145 degrees. We take away 145 degrees from 180 and get 35 degrees. We know the unknown angle measure is 35 degrees. Here it's telling us to write and solve an equation to find the measure of the unknown angle. We see the little box in the corner indicating that this is a right angle of 90 degrees. Using the subtraction property of equality, we can use subtraction to isolate the variable to solve. We've got 90 degrees is equal to whatever the angle of x is plus the 37 degrees. We have our equation. And we can write the equal sign on either side. We have 90 degrees is equal to x plus 37 degrees. We see the plus sign. We use subtraction. We subtract 37 degrees from both sides of the equal sign. That is going to create a zero pair here and eliminate this plus 37. We take away 37 from this side, we get 53 degrees. We know x is equal to 53 degrees. The unknown angle is 53 degrees. Write and solve an equation to find the complement of an angle that measures 74 degrees. Now think, complement indicates a 90 degree angle. They've given us 74 degrees. The entire thing is 90 degrees. So we can write x plus 74 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Because this is a plus sign, we use the opposite operation, the inverse operation. We subtract 74 from both sides of the equal sign. That's going to create a zero pair 
and we're going to eliminate the plus 74. We take away 74 from 90 and get 16 degrees. We know x is equal to 16 degrees. The other angle is 16 degrees. Okay, we finished this part. We're moving on to the last part of this lesson, writing real-world problems for a given equation. We're going to learn more about supplementary and complementary angles in seventh grade. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you'll join me for the last part of this lesson. Bye.